The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence has tabled its report in the Parliament, which mentions that there is an considerable delay in the supply of 40 Tejas Mark I fighter jets from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and until now, 38 Mark I fighter jets have been delivered to the Indian Air Force. The report also said that in case the procurement of 114 fighter jets under MRFA program is delayed further. The government should consider off-the-shelf purchase of state-of-the-art fifth-generation fighter jets without losing time to keep the force in a comfortable position. This report comes against the backdrop of the United States demonstrating its fifth-generation F-35A fighter jet at the Aero India 2023, which could have made a possible influence on their report. Retired group captain H. V. Thako has shared a picture of the third Swift UCAF prototype, which is currently under fabrication at a facility in Bangalore. The third prototype weighs 1 ton, and is 13 feet long, and has a wingspan of over 16 feet. The Swift UCAF will be used as a technological demonstrator for the next two years, to demonstrate many of the flight characters of the 12-ton Indian unmanned combat air vehicle that will be followed with the fabrication of upscaled prototypes powered by 48 kN dry cavalry engine. The Swift UCAF has also been offered to the Indian Air Force as an unmanned combat drone, since its two hard points can carry a payload of 50 kg each, and its stealth abilities will enable it to remain undetected in contested airspace. Swedish firm Saab Group is pitching its next-generation light anti-tank weapon to the Indian market, which is known to destroy even the most advanced tanks. It weighs only 12.5 kilograms, and has a range of 1,000 meters, and it has a shelf life of 20 years. The unjammable and man-portable system features 2.5x telescopic sight with night vision, and can be deployed in 5 seconds by a single soldier. It has the power to destroy a tank, and is also effective against a range of other targets such as helicopters and buildings. According to a report by the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence, the Indian Air Force intends to purchase at least two more Mirage 2000 trainers from France, that will help to maintain the ratio of pilot intakes, as the Indian Air Force requires a fleet of 10 Mirage 2000 trainers for conversion of new fighter pilots. The Indian Air Force had also acquired 16 retired Mirage 2000 aircraft from France in 2021, that will be used as spares for the next 15 years. The Indian Air Force intends to keep the Mirage 2000 fleet operational until 2035, after which it will begin retiring them in two stages with Tejas Mark II fighter jets. As the military supplies from Russia are facing roadblocks, the Indian Air Force has sharply reduced its projected spending on procurement for the financial year 2024. The cut has taken place due to delays in the supply of the remaining S-400 air defense system, as well as spares for fighter jets. Russia has informed that the delivery of remaining two S-400 squadrons will be delayed, and there is no clear indication on fresh timelines.